Hi everybody, welcome to the Very Best Balloon Blog. I'm Sue Bowler and today we would like to talk to you about photographs. Photographs are a big and important part of the balloon industry. They give us the ability to show our clients our creativity and inspire them with ideas. We can do this through our websites, our Facebook business page, our portfolios and our ideas books. So what is a portfolio versus an ideas book? Well, a portfolio is a visual collection of our work, designs that you have personally made. Showing clients work that you have created will instill confidence, which we hope will lead to a sale or your business being selected to do a job. An ideas book is very different from a portfolio. It can contain pictures from a variety of different sources and give us the opportunity to show a wider range of ideas and concepts. However, these should always be attributed to the original source. With the help of Eleanor Vivali, our, our digital marketing expert, and Susan Fleming, our education development manager from Pioneer Balloon Company, we hope to answer a range of questions regarding photographs. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Eleanor and Susan and thank them both for joining me today. Hey everyone, can't wait to talk to you. Hi Sue, hi everyone, hi Susan. I would like to start by asking Eleanor quite a quick, a tricky question. What should I do? Somebody is using my photographs on their website and or Facebook page. Yes, you're right Sue, this is quite a tricky question and I know we've had people uh, discussing this and you guys are angry and you guys are sad because you've seen somebody else using your pictures. And you're right, I mean, it's not a right, good thing to do. It's not a good thing to do. Um, if you took a picture, the picture belongs to you. So if somebody is using it without crediting you, this is stealing your pictures. Uh, there is different things you can do uh, to face the situation. First of all, you can contact the person if it's on Facebook, you can contact them easily on Facebook. If it's on a website, there's probably some kind of contact there. So you can first contact the person. Sometimes some people do that without bad intentions. They're just using pictures they found on the internet and they feel like they're allowed to do it because they could download it from the internet so they can use it. A lot of people you know, don't know much about that. So they're doing things they shouldn't do but they don't really know. So first of all, contact them, you know, be professional and tell them, well, this is my picture and I'm asking you to remove it from your website or your Facebook page. I think it's even more confusing with social media because a lot of people share things on social media, right? And if you put your pictures on social media, it's to share it with people and hope that they're going to share it and it's going to go viral, as we say, and more people are going to see your work. So sharing is good okay so somebody sharing your picture doesn't mean he's stealing it maybe he's just sharing it because he likes it but he needs he or she needs to put credits a good thing to protect your pictures in general is watermarking it i know sue had a blog on that and this is something you can do all the time like whenever you post pictures of your work make sure you have your logo or your business name on it you can even put like your phone number or your website. So this is really good for advertising. When you post a picture, always a watermark it. This is the first thing to do to protect your picture. And then when somebody's going to share it, well, you have your name on it, right? So they can't say they did it. And if somebody uses a picture that you have watermarked and removes the watermark, well, that's obviously stealing, okay? Uh, that's obviously not fine. And then you can contact them. There is one other thing you can do. If it's on Facebook, if somebody is using one of your pictures on the business page, uh, saying that it's their work, their picture, uh, you can contact Facebook. Facebook is really good with dealing with that. They don't want people stealing pictures from each other. Uh, they want people to share peacefully. So you can report it. Um, when you see the picture, you're going to have a little um, tab, and you can click on that and report it. And you have different categories and one of them is intellectual property 
So if you say this is my picture and you can prove it, Facebook is going to remove this picture from the other person's page. Thank you, Eleanor. That was some really great information. I know that we're always being asked about photographs, so that was perfect. Um, now I'd like to talk to Susan about the use of Qualitex images. Um, hi, Susan. Hi. Now there are a number of different sources of Qualitex pictures, the Qualitex website and images magazines, for example. Maybe you could talk us through each of these and help us understand how we're allowed to use these. Okay. There are about four main ways to get photos from Qualitex to use in your idea book. Um, the first way is that QBN members can download photos from the QBN Resource Center on Qualitex.com. Next, business boosters on Qualitex.com are available to everyone. Um, there's bouquet ideas and decor ideas. Images Magazine also has a balloons to go section in the back. You can tear it out and put it in an idea book. That's what it was designed for. Balloon ideas on Qualitex.com can also be used on your website. I don't recommend you using them for any print materials because the resolution's pretty low and would really just make you look a little bit unprofessional if you blew it up and it was just pixelated. Remember, if it's not your work, it's always an idea book. Once you actually create the design, then you can take a picture of it and put it in your portfolio and take it out of your idea book. Thank you, Susan. That's great. And talking about ideas book, um, Eleanor, maybe you could talk to us about Pinterest and how we can use that for our businesses. Absolutely. Well, Pinterest is an ideas book. It's an inspiration board so you can have it's a social media platform for maybe some people don't know about Pinterest yet uh, it's a social media platform with pictures it's all about pictures and uh, you can pin pictures from other sources for example we have a Qualitex Pinterest with different boards for different occasions we have for example, we have a Halloween uh, Pinterest board if you like the ideas and you want to keep them in your idea books on Pinterest you can pin them on your board, but you need to make sure that it's very clear that you're not claiming this as your work. You're just using it as inspiration on your inspiration board. So that's really fine. And you can find a lot of other inspiration ideas on Pinterest because Pinterest is a lot about celebration. Weddings are huge on Pinterest, kids' parties, uh, all kinds of themes. You will find a lot of ideas about you know, colors and textures and themes. So that's a really good place to create your idea book. And there is something new on Pinterest that I really like. It's messages. Uh, it's a new feature that they just um, uh, rolled out. Uh, you can send a pin. For example, if you have a client calling you about, I don't know, a mermaid party. And she says, well, I want to have a mermaid party for my uh, little girl. And I'd like ideas. What could you do? Well, maybe you have things from your portfolio to show her, so you can send these pictures in an email. And maybe you haven't done a mermaid party yet, but you know you can, and you find a picture on Qualitex uh, Pinterest board, and you can send it from Pinterest to your client's email and say, well, this is not something I've done. And obviously, because there is a Qualitex branding on the pictures we post, uh, but this is something I could do for you. What do you think? And then you can, you know, talk about it with her over email. I um, personally um, love Pinterest. Um, I've actually got, um, and this is a really good idea as well, I've got on mine where I, it says for your, for your eyes only, so it's like a private board and whenever I'm looking around Pinterest, regardless, I'm not necessarily looking at balloon designs, I might be just looking at wedding designs or or maybe a, a theme design and if it if I can look at the picture and it gives me maybe some inspiration that I could then translate into balloon decor I actually put it into my um, private board so that when I actually come to do that work or if I'm looking for 
inspiration to design something new for, with balloons, I can go back to my little bo my board and it really helps me. I love it because I know it's in a safe place and it's not things that anybody else would want to see because it's purely for my own inspiration. So I'm afraid I'm a little bit hooked to Pinterest. <laughs> so to summarize, photographs and creating a good portfolio is the key to success. Creating a good ideas book is also essential to show off a good variety of work, especially when we're new. But we should never take the credit for these ideas and we should always credit the originator. Keep your work safe and watermark everything that you post on the internet. If you're using a Qualitex image, ensure that you follow the Qualitex guidelines as mentioned in this clip. Pinterest is a great social media tool. If you have not worked with it yet, we strongly recommend that you take a look. I would like to take this opportunity to thank both Eleanor and Susan for their time and their expertise in these matters. So, happy ballooning and I'll see you again soon.